morning guys, Steve Ritten from EmperorSocialBonuses.com here once again from the San Diego headquarters. And just before we launch into another demonstration from Martin on the features of Emperor Social, and this time it's showing you how you can build an entire website inside of Facebook, which the advantage of course is that you can keep your clients on side Facebook, it's cheaper to drive traffic to, and has fantastic options for taking this to offliners for building entire sites for them inside the platform. Wanted to also let you know that our bonuses are about to be released. Um, the bonus package I've put together for this is absolutely incredible. You're going to see lots of people out there with a lot of PLR rehash garbage coding inflated figures and just putting together a bunch of junk that looks nice on a page but it's absolutely rubbish. Um, if you follow me at all, you know who I am. I admin a JV group, a private closed door JV group of 200 quality product creators. And I'm pairing up with a lot of these guys to bring you a bonus package that fills in all the gaps necessary to build out your business with Emperor Social and take it to a whole new level. So it's targeted quality materials, it's absolutely killer content, and it's going to help you rock out your success with this program. So check out the bonus when it's available. It's going to be a few days. We'll have full details up, and it's just going to absolutely rock. So enjoy the demo with Martin. I'm going to go back to my coffee and vodka. Cheers. It's Martin here, and we're just getting down to the last few days before launch now. Hopefully, you're all looking forward to it. I wanted to make another video, video showing you yet another use and function that's in Emperor Social. So, this one is uh, something you might use for an offline client, or it could be for it could be for anything really of your own too. But I'm, I've just used an example of an offline client here. So, I've set it up for a restaurant that's called Butlers, and I've gone into the main page here, and you'd see there are two sub pages so essentially this is like uh, building a mini site so you could build a Facebook page tab that has 10 whatever number you want of sub pages and with Emperor Social you can link these all together into a complete website inside Facebook. Now this is something that none of the other providers have and if they do have it they just have like external links and things so this is really this is a cutting edge option here we have so You've got options to activate, deactivate, delete, copy a page, edit a page, whatever you want. The copy page is useful because if, if you want to clone a page exactly, you could do that without having to do the, the design again. There's also the option to save the template, save the page as a template to use later as well. So there's two ways to do that. But I'm just going to jump in here now. So I'm going to click edit, and here we are in our main dashboard area. So this is a uh, now this is my. I, sp I didn't spend too long setting this up. It's quite, uh, you know, it's it's basic enough design here. So I've set it all up. We've got all our different elements that can be edited, all the things that a, a business might need or might want. So you've got all your their location, all this sort of stuff. We've got a nice background image, and I've matched this all up to their website. And you'd see here there's a navigation bar. Now this is the important part that I'm showing you here today. On the the side we have a, a navigation widget. So I've uh, I'm going to edit this one here just to show you what it does and how it works. So what you do is you can go in and set up the number of links or pages you want on the navbar. So in this case I've set up two because we have two pages on this this uh, Facebook page tab and uh, you could make this more if you wanted to have links here that go to an external site. So we've generated two and then you can pick do you want to have an existing page if you click that it's got a drop down of the, the pages that are in this this group for want of a better word or you can make it go to an external link if it's an external link you have the, the, the link title and then the link target and that'll open in a new window so uh, we'll leave it as existing page and then you've got the options for the second nav item then we have the different settings values so this is a it's quite powerful very flexible it can be either a horizontal nav bar like that one is or you could make it vertical which would be something you know, appearing down the side or whatever. You've got left, right, center alignment. You've got all your padding options so they can you know you can get it looking just right. It doesn't look clunky or it doesn't look to the edge with the background color or whatever. You can change the, the font colors here, you just choose what you want and click this. And then you can choose the hover color. You got the font size, the hover size, the font weight, the hover weight, then a background color for the, the whole nav bar. And you can also make that change for the part that's hovered over. So basically full control over how the navigation bar looks. And then if you want to get a bit more advanced with the design, add things like gradients or specific patterns, you just click browse here 
and uh, it lets you upload an image. So you save the whole thing, and they're here. But uh, you remember that I have two pages in this, so if we go to the top bar, both pages are in your nav bar now. So I'm going to go over to the offers page I made a little earlier. It's going to load up here. You see, it's a different page. It's got some different information. This little image here, so you can see all the different design things you can do here. It's pretty, pretty easy to use. And with the custom header, so I got. You'll notice it is the same background and the same header and all. So when I started this page, I just copied the previous page and had this all in place already. But uh, we have the nav bar here. So whatever settings you apply on the nav widget, you notice some of the different pages. And I click edit. These changes apply here as well. So the navigation widget basically works through all the pages in the site, which is what a navigation bar is meant to do. It's supposed to be consistent on all pages. And then uh, when I save this, it's saved successfully. Now everything's going to be saved together. And I'm just going to show you in another browser here what this uh, looks like. So someone goes to the page, that's fine. They see the nav bar here. Now this could be, you could have loads of pages here, you could recreate an entire site for someone. And you know the advantages of that are you can hook in all the stuff like the uh, the different Facebook functionalities that we have in the widgets, but also if you're driving traffic via Facebook ads, it's uh, clicks are always cheaper to go to traffic inside Facebook. That's an important thing to uh, to notice. If you're sending to external links, it's always going to cost a little bit more. So people can just click, and it's like a full normal website. So uh, if you if you wanted to, or if your clients, sorry, or your customers wanted to use this for something different for for their own offline clients, then this is a great feature for you to demo for them. So uh, you can get familiar with that in the in the dashboard. Here's the widget. You just drag it across onto the page. It'll apply to all pages. Um, you can add two navigation widgets per page if you want. So you could have a footer one as well if you had a really long page. And uh, Yes, yeah, so that's just one of the one of the new features I wanted to show you in another video. I'll uh, I'll be doing some more video updates as well later on today and tomorrow. Thanks.